Hey everyone, Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, I want to go over the foundation of a crypto mining rig. This is actually going to be the first video in a series of how to build a crypto mining rig. The foundation being a mining frame or a mining chassis of some type or sort that you can come up with. You don't have to go ham, but the first thing you should go consider in all of this is well, how many GPUs you have and how many GPUs you're planning on accumulating. Because uh, you really want a chassis or a foundation that's going to support the amount of GPUs that you plan on ultimately building out to. Now, most commonly is the frames that we see all throughout, which is a 6 GPU frame or 8 GPU frame of some type. Vada frames are very popular. Manufacturers have uh, taken up, because I don't think they make them anymore, but manufacturers have taken up the, the mantle and, and basically replicated it. It's not too hard to do. Uh, but they're super expensive. Originally, you know, looking at the pricing that you see here now, ranging anywhere from 185 to 150 bucks, we got it for like 25, 30 bucks back in the day. So I have a number of these frames already available to me, um, or in my possession. But I wouldn't recommend spending hundreds of dollars on a six GPU frame or even an eight GPU frame. So my recommendation would be to go out and build your own. And there's a lot of great ways to customize the frames using a number of tools around you. For example, this one right here is just a metal shelf where they just have the GPUs hanging. They could be zip tied, whatever. As long as the GPUs have proper airflow, they're not making contact, there's no exposed SMDs or solder joints touching each other from various components, you're perfectly fine. And the, the metal shelves, there's a number of different ways that you can hang them. They actually built uh, not only do you use zip ties, but they actually built these guides, uh, 3D printed these guides that are available for users to buy that will hang on to the GPUs and securely mount them or secure them to the mining shelf of some type. Uh, but you can always build your own with the resources around you. Uh, you can always go to a hardware store and use a little bit of some, uh, I think, believe it's called angle iron. I could be wrong there. Correct me down in the comments. And some wood. However, I would avoid wood for the GPUs to rest on because the GPUs do get quite toasty, especially uh, the back plate if there's memory thermal pads. But the wood for the motherboard to sit on is perfectly fine. Uh, maybe not so much the power supply. Try to elevate that off of the wood if you can with some metal or something because the power supply can also get toasty, especially the server power supplies that we wind up utilizing. But back in the day, we used to use nothing but milk crates. And uh, this is back when AMD GPUs weren't AMD, they were ATI. So milk crates, obviously the expandability isn't as uh, wide as a 6 GPU frame or 8 GPU frame, but it is certainly possible to get a rig up and running and start running efficiently. You may just start off with one to two GPUs. That is perfectly fine. But in your mind, you want to set out, okay, I want to grow to six or I want to grow to eight. And there's even crazier ones out there where you got like a 19, uh, because the ASUS B250 uh, Mining Expert motherboard has 19 PCIe slots or 19 available connections. So there's a frame out there that you can buy, it's, it's pretty expensive, that will allow you to mount all 19 in that one rig. But let me show you a little example of what I started off with back in the day, right? So here is a normal computer case. Uh, it's actually an old school Cooler Master half high airflow case. It's a full tower, so it's a little bit bigger, but you can see I got a, I got two big fans, uh, one in the front here and one at the top, and I just have these GPUs kind of zip tied. Now for a smaller GPU, like this 1060 uh, six gig card from Zotac, perfectly fine having the zip tie hang on to it, but when you start getting into cards that are a lot bigger and beefier, like the 3090, 3080, 6700, 6800, 6900, whatever it may be, the newer cards are certainly beefier. Um, so it might be a little bit harder. And the Zotac here is just chilling. Not exactly the safest, a little bit jank. If that card were to fall onto the motherboard below, we could break some components. But you could certainly be a little bit more creative than myself. I like to watch uh, Red Panda Mining's Crypto Mining Rig Showcase because they have a lot of creative people in there that made some great things. Another example is I took some painter sticks. I painted, uh, I painted it with Plasti Dip, right? So it's a plastic uh, paint application and it helps reduce static electricity especially because you can see the screws here kind of holding everything together I didn't want anything to short out or any make any type of connection or complete a circuit but you can see I got seven 
risers on this particular setup. And then all I did was to upgrade my case uh, from paint, from milk crate to this, and then eventually the painter sticks, is I just laid it across the system, and then there we go, we got seven GPUs, no problem. So you can certainly use the resources around you if you already have a computer case, two graphics cards you wanna expand out, turn that case on its side, get a little bit creative with the tools or resources around you, go to the hardware store, whatever, and just build it out to what you want it to be. But the foundation is the most important part because you want to identify one, how many GPUs you're planning on growing to, and two, that will help you determine, all right, because I know I want eight GPUs on this one rig, I need to get a motherboard that can support it and a CPU um, and motherboard combo that can support the number of GPUs that I have. So the foundation is the most important part. Uh, in the next video, part two of this series, I do want to go over the motherboard, uh, which we will be doing, so stay tuned for that. We're just going to do this progressively as we go through. Uh, but that's pretty much going to do it for me today. I would enjoy to hear some of your insight down in the comments below. Uh, share that with the community. And do me a favor, on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on. As well as check out some of the links down below that help support the channel. Some of them are affiliate links and they do uh, give us a kickback. So I really appreciate your time and effort. Beyond that, you have a great day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.